If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. This was one of the uh, leaked SBCs that people were kind of going crazy for because obviously a lot of pretty insane links you can work with, okay? So guys, with Alvarez, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot seven, high, high work rates, four star, four star, mostly explosive while being a right footed player. Now, is this basically going to be my Ungel Correa card this year? Who knows? Playstyle, he has... Oh, what's the plus version? The physical is relentless plus. Significantly increases fatigue recovery during halftime and extra time. Greatly increases duration of teammate contain and partial team press. I mean, not bad to have in a 4-4-2, by the way. Relentless is like really nice to have in the midfield, by the way. It's like it's actually kind of uh, it's kind of saucy to have there. Um, so the reason why I'm really looking into this play style, because with this card, guys, you don't technically need to line him up as an actual striker. Like if you're playing like a 4-2-3-1 formation, I was using the other Alvarez card for a little bit in the beginning as the right attacking mid. Not even joking, because I love to work with explosive players that are high, high work rated that can push forward and come back. And because he has relentless, he can do that push forward, come back really nicely. You know, uh, passing, he's got incisive pass. He has flair. He has press proven. Keeps the ball close. Uh, keeps close control of the ball while dribbling at jog speed. And can shield the ball more effectively in stronger opponents. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a card that you have to obviously give the Hunter chemistry style to. Pace is, you know, it's always really relevant to work with, especially for these explosive players. You want that pace to be um, pretty high to work with for... Um, the most part right so with the acceleration and sprint speed it's a plus eight plus eight on both of those areas uh and then the finishing is going to be in the port uh, is going to be in the important spot which is minimum 95 95 for both right so let me just go ahead and show you guys the card here yeah so on a hunter <clears throat> he's still a mostly explosive right so 95 acceleration 93 for sprint speed <clears throat> excuse me mid 90s for shooting stats right Passing also going to be in the 80s area. This is where I'm telling you guys that you can actually use this card in the side position. So you guys get what I'm saying? Like those play styles might be best utilized in those areas. Uh, passing is there. Dribbling is in a pretty decent area. It's the beginning of the game, right? P players like this, five foot seven, short and lean minus. It should be good enough, to be honest with you. Um, this card even has defensive stats. You're going to tell me he's not a right attacking mid if you've ever seen one in your entire life. Like that's like the definition of one right there. Uh, physicality. He's got... Decent physical stats, low on strength, but aggression is there. So aggression being high, again, helpful to work with the play styles that he's working with on relentless and press proven. So it looks like a very interesting card. It looks very unique. Let me see what the rare gold card had. Only flair, press proven, didn't have relentless. This card was a high high on a hunter chemistry style. I'm blind. Hunter chemistry style, pace up, shooting up. Yeah, this is a card you use in the beginning. But hey, man, look, guys. Look at the defensive boost, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nice to have. In this game, when you have like 60s, like they actually do stuff. So it's gonna be interesting to review him, man. Let me go ahead and uh, pick him up and uh, I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, guys, so I'm uh, gonna go ahead and give the boy uh, a Hunter Chemistry Style. And um, this team is actually very, very solid for it. Four, two, three, one. What? Basic 4 2 3 one? Yeah, we could do basic 4 2 3 one. Why not? Let him do his thing there. Sure. That's fine. Uh, don't want to do too much of the tactics for this card. High, high work rates. So here's what I'm saying, right? I'm not even joking. I think like over here might be ideal. Like just from looking at it, but I just want to see it first. You know what I'm saying? So let me see what he does like base wise. Um, so yeah, let's go see what he's like. And what we have coming up is this intriguing contest in division rivals. Stuart, your expectations? Thanks, Derek, as always. This is the not the bruiser, but the body to body from behind. I'm trying to see if I can get anything out going there, you know? And introducing the visitors lineup today. Anderson between the posts. Bruno Kimarais plays along. So this is what it is, right? Second man press. Starts to activate it, right? He's got the high, high work rates for it too.
distributing it well. Oh, that's not how I meant to pass it to there. Why you do this? Nice little tackle there. The finesse? Ah. Okay, okay, okay. And try the Trivello. He does have a loop on him, though. If I put less power, that probably would have been a goal. Was a good strike. Was a good strike. Got on the green there, too. But those are like lower percentage strikes. You got to kind of go on the inside, sometimes go for like an extra finesse or something. Here's the R1 with him. Right, pretty good because he's a smaller player, right? So do stuff like this. Quickness. Quickness again. Shaw cancel. Right? So even his shaw cancel is kind of sharp to go on the inside there too. Not a high percentage strike in this game, huh? Roulette, uh, coming off of the roulette, a little bit of emphasis on the ball, even though it's out of 45. Oh, get the ball. Oi, red card. That'll be a red card. There it is. You guys think this guy can hit free kicks? Let's see. Oh, he actually has some free kick stats. Oh, he's not going to block this? Okay, we'll do this instead. Touch the ball here. One touch into a strike. Ooh. Maybe I had better luck doing the free kick. Better with dead ball, but... Yeah, see, I, 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 like, I, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the play style. I'm also looking at the type of run that he's going to make in that general area because I just switched him to the right side to check that stuff and you could already see it, right? Like, you kind of feel out cards from the way they look from beforehand, right? Gotta check out the pace in this situation. Yeah, pretty good. He actually does, like, really big uh, push touches, eh? Pretty solid. They need to improve in the second half to turn things around. Mm, the cut inside, yeah, I like that. That's good. And slipped through beautifully. The defender doing his job. Crossing into the middle. Can Ooh. Touch? Shot. Ah, oh, and a green he misses. Oh, again, those uh, bottom sides are facing away. They are a lower percentage in this game, but it'd be nice if it was on target on a green. I'm going to try a finesse shot. Why not? It doesn't have the traits, but... That run he's making there. See if I can overcommit that. Oh, never mind. And unable to keep possession. Nice, Alvarez. I see you, my boy. You got any runs here? Angled, maybe? Do that. Okay, guys. So now that we have more of a feel for the card in regards to how he can perform, he performs the way that I would expect him to, to be honest with you. So we're actually going to use like a more try hard formation, right? Ozio's 4 2 3 1. Um, because got, I got to see certain things. I got to see if he's like his movements work a certain way and whatnot. But I'm gonna try him up top at striker again, and then I might rotate him to the right side according to how the game goes. Okay. And handed the task of playing up front today is Paolo Dybala. Giving them a different option by moving in field. 
No, roulette EA, man. Oh my god, your responsiveness is mad annoying. Oh, you gotta score that. Mm -mm, my boy. No, 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 no. Come on. What are we talking about here? Green time, more in the middle, under pressure. Woo, but he scores that one, though. There it is. That's what we're looking for, Alvarez. Come on, on delay. Did you stay on side is the question. And he did. Good. It's really unfortunate when you do those attacking plays. And even if you don't take a touch, they're offside. Like, they should never be offside if you don't even take a touch, you know? So weird. But he's onside there, so that's good. See, that one? That's the example I'm talking about. If I did a first-time pass, I'm pretty sure he's on. Yeah, he's quick on the ball for sure. Definitely notice that, especially with like the R1 dribbles and stuff. Oh, I try to get like a quick little touch zing over there, but it didn't work out. The first touch was nice. Really quick there. Movement's good. Green. Venom, my boy. You know how there's some players that, you know, if you take strikes in that area and you green them, like, they're just smacking that ball. Like, you ever use, ben uh, not Benzema, but like, or Benzema does do it sometimes too, but you ever use like Mbappe and stuff? How is that not a foul? What? Maybe a lack of physical there, I guess, huh? Oh my goodness. Daniel goalkeeper for the win, boys, or what? No! I thought he was going to go near post. I see you with the shielding, bro. I see you. And then... Oh, he blocked that angle. Well done, well done. They always block that angle because the step overs and stuff, you know? Oh, I mistimed that. So that right there was actually a really good example of the shield dribble, right? So because he has that play style, like when I'm jogging, I shield with him right away. It's very quick, right? And he can actually do the shielding really well, too. Oh, side footed shots. It'd be like that. But the, the little explosiveness there is nice for sure. Oh, imagine that. Hey, to be fair, maybe on a green, never know, huh? Never know. Oh, would have been nice, though. Go Alvarez. Little shield. Little shield. R1. Little skill. Oh! Ah, the angle has to be way more out of 45 for that to work. See the shielding? Very helpful, to be fair, considering how small he is. Oh, 
Ooh, if it wasn't for the other guy, just chilling there, man. What? It doesn't register like a regular finesse shot there afterwards? Come on. Nothing on the finesse there too. There it is, nicely done. Do you guys watch the controller there, okay? Watch me do the uh, the L trigger part with the shielding, okay? That's what you gotta, gotta utilize with a card like this. It's actually good that they give a play style like that because he's a shorter player in previous years. That used to be mad annoying to work with with the shorter guys, so it's good that you can actually like do something like that, right? A little bit of pressure on him throws him off a tiny bit. And teammates around him. And passing it through. Nice. It's a good run, eh? We timed the through pass really nicely against him. Use his left foot to score that opportunity on a green. It's a good finish. Yeah, I was just looking at his movement there, see what's up with it. We'll tap? Oh. It was over committing one of the defenders there, so I kind of figured, you know? First time. And we get deflection. Nope. Normally, you should touch the ball, do some extra stuff against the goalie, but I want to see what his volleys are like from that angle, right? Almost had some jam there. Rodrigo, and the ball's gone. Julie. If Julie did the left stick forward back like I did with my controller, I think Alvarez would have had that space because Alvarez was able to use the shields to open up the space for others. And then I could have just made the pass afterwards, you know? Little bit of that R1. Let's see the running animation again here. Ball roll. Little R1. Shot. Still get blocked. Okay. Perfect. Shot cancel. Nice shot afterwards. Good stuff. Good stuff. Little skill move into the shot cancel. That was sick. I got the animation, the defenders are still on me. That's unfortunate. For that R1 though. That R1 though. Pretty good. Ah. Try to get the green on that bad boy. James Madison. Here's Alvarez. Moving the ball effectively. Ah, oh, should have done a burger spin instead. James Madison. Sloppy in possession from the Kings. There it is. Chip. That's why I don't go for chips, guys. I never, like, I'm telling you, consistency-wise, I will never go for chips, bro. Like, I try it, but only for the reviews, I'm telling you. I personally just don't like using them. Like, that's just me. When you have the play style, however, very different. 
Culey, teammate available. Must take the lead here. Oh, it'd be like that, bro. Incisive ball from Giuli. You push your goalkeeper way too much there, my boy. Force the animation with the shot cancel. We're good to go. Nice finesse shot. Nice finesse shot. Finesse again. Oh, manual goalkeeping. Never mind. Never mind. Manual goalkeeping. I'll take that too. Am I stupid? Passing, shot, assistance, assisted. Okay, just making sure. At the top. Oh, what a leg reach right there. My goodness. Go, Alvarez! Run! Go back, because you're not physical enough. There you go. Need some movement out of you. Oh, that works, I guess. That's okay. I, 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 dude, I did like two skill moves there that I did not mean to do. <laughs> Gotta shield a little bit here. R1. Shield a little bit again. R1 again. Run into it! R1 again. Shield again. R1 again. Shield again. Shield. Shielding is good. A little bit. And bang. There it is. Woo! Gotta use a lot of R1 dribbles with him and then the shield, you know? R1 shield, R1 shield. Because his shield, uh, the shield dribble that he has is crazy with that playstyle. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Alvarez card. So, guys, before we get started, right, I gotta be the guy to mention they're kind of pricing these SBCs up there. I gotta be the guy to say it, okay? Uh, with some of these guys, I feel like they could have done a little bit lower, right? However, let's talk about Alvarez. So key things here, when it comes to usability of this card, I'm gonna talk about one really key point for me personally, right? And this is just the play style that you notice with this card. This is a card that is supposed to be used in close quarter situations. So if you are playing a 4-2-3-1 narrow and he's being used on the right hand side, this card will still be pretty decent to use, right? The attacking AI will be there. He'll be explosive in certain areas. You can utilize the R1 dribble and the shield dribble with the car because a shield dribble with him is very, very quick to work with to open up space for yourself. That's genuinely for me, like the main spot. Some people might still use him in like a 4-3-3 formation as an actual right winger uh, because of the fact that he has the high, high work rates. He's got an 86 for stamina. He has the relentless play style plus to basically allow you to apply second man press because guys the reason why i keep saying right attacking mid is because with relentless if you are using second man press against someone when you have a comeback and defense instruction for alvarez playing in that right right attacking mid area it just gives you that extra defensive presence to be able to second man press for longer you guys get what i'm saying um but yeah, I think the the SBC prices, I think they've been kind of crazy. Guys, on my other account, I did the division, uh, the Elite Division rewards. It's so hard to get fodder, man, to really drop the price out of these cards. Like, I even did the untradables for the Elite Division. And I'm like, brother, I barely got any, like, 85s, 86 or some of these things, right? I did the 80 plus to see if I can get fodder from that. It's it's difficult. So I got to be the guy to say it. Like, they're kind of putting them up there. I, I agree with some of the flipping comment sections for some of these cards. However, listen, if you end up doing the card and you're using him in the way that I'm telling you, he's still going to be pretty decent. However, I will say he's not going to feel fast like a Diaby because Diaby has quick, I think it's quick step plus and rapid. Let me see. I'm pretty sure because I use him all the time. Quick step plus and rapid with 95, 95 base card stats. Very noticeable. He's way faster, right? Um, and then the other thing here is obviously the fact of the lack of 
shooting traits. They could have they could have given him a shooting trait. I think a shooting trait, especially a like both a finesse and an outside foot, it doesn't have to be a plus. You can use the plus on the relentless. But having those two traits, I would have been like, all right, guys, the SBC is pretty decent. But like the lack of shooting traits too is a little bit, it's a little bit off too, right? But like I said, guys, you know, if you use him in that uh, general area, he'll perform well enough for you. The price of the SBCs have been a little bit sussy, but ED, what he eat? Boys, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, guys. Love you guys.